from mysterious multicolored mountains to strange sights and surreal structures, here are 25 of the weirdest looking landscapes in the world. Spotted Lake. In the summer, the water of this lake in British Columbia evaporates and leaves behind small mineral pools, which appear like spots of different colors. The mineral deposits will become solid enough to form walkways between one spot to another. The native Okanagan people have long revered the unique body of water, which is believed to have therapeutic qualities. It can be viewed from the northwest, but the small town of Osoyuz requests that the boundaries of tribal lands be respected. Fingal's Cave. This one is located on an uninhabited island of Scotland's Inner Hebrides. Wholly formed from hexagonal basalt deposits, it's often compared to the Giant's Causeway of Northern Ireland. Noted for its natural acoustics, the formation wasn't known to the English-speaking world until the early 1770s. It has since served as an inspiration for many works of art, including music compositions, plays, and movies. What sort of art would you want to create here? Rice Terraces, Yunnan Province, China. The Yunnan Province of China is well known for its The Yunnan Province of China is well known for its amazing rice paddy terracing. From some angles, the patterns can appear like abstract art. Photographers especially favor the area due to the intense surreal designs. Ancestors of the region's Hani people have been crafting these terraces by hand for some 1300 years to irrigate their rice crops. Grand Prismatic Spring Found in Yellowstone National Park, this wonder of nature looks like a real-life psychedelic effect. It's actually one among several hydrothermal features that were created by a now dormant supervolcano in the region. It's the biggest hot spring in the United States, going some 160 feet deep, or 49 meters, and measuring around 370 feet, or 113 meters in diameter. Overall, it ranks as the world's third largest hot spring, with temperatures reaching upwards of 160 degrees Fahrenheit, or 71 degrees Celsius. The White Desert. This large, desolate expanse is located in western Egypt, and it's a national park located near the small town of Farafra. The landscape is colored from snow white to cream, and features many eerie chalk rock formations, some of which are massive. It's officially described as a geological depression that covers some 380 square miles, or 980 square kilometers. The Black Desert. So we just told you about the White Desert, well, located a bit north of that area, you'll find another unusual location that serves as an odd complement. The Black Desert gains its name from the unusual coloration, resulting from its mountains eroding over time. As the erosion proceeded, it covered the desert with layers of rocks and black powder. The charred appearance of sand dunes provides a sharp contrast to most desert locations. The Danakil Depression and Dalil the vast, triangular region of Ethiopia known as the Danakil Depression contains one of the lowest elevations on the planet. Plummeting some 430 feet, or 130 meters below sea level, Dalil is also one of the hottest locations on the planet as well. Its average annual high temperature is 105 degrees Fahrenheit, or 41 degrees Celsius. This area receives minimal rainfall, and much of the landscape has a sun-baked, sand-blasted appearance appearance, but an active hydrothermal system produces hot springs and fumaroles that belch out steam and gases. In fact, the sulfur springs of the depression are being studied to determine how extraterrestrial life might develop. Pamukkale. Did you know these mysterious formations comprise Turkey's most popular tourist destination? Known as the Cotton Castle, it's located in the southwest part of the country, and the brilliant white landscape really does look like terraces and pools. But it's all the result of mineral deposits in thermal waters, which many people believe contain healing properties. Those minerals hardened over time to form these unique shapes. Bistai Denazin Wilderness. This is a 45,000 acre, or 18,000 hectare, wilderness area located in New Mexico. The desolate region of greatly eroded badlands was established in 1984, but humans have almost continuously populated the region since around 10,000 BCE. Badlands can fall as low as 400 feet below the surrounding plains, or 122 meters, but the high plains can rise as high as 6,500 feet, or 
over 1,981 meters above sea level. Many eerie, alien-like rock formations can be found in the area, including some that resemble a sphinx. Eye of the Sahara Measuring some 25 miles across, or 40 kilometers, the appearance of this geological structure almost hides in plain sight when viewed at ground level, but when seen from above, its immensity is truly apparent. It's so distinctive that NASA uses it as a landmark for their space missions. The strange formation is more formally known as the Reshot Structure, and is found in the Sahara Desert of Mauritania. Most sources agree that the Reshot Structure is about 100 million years old, and might be an impact crater left from an an asteroid. Chi Lin Stone Forest. At first glance, it appears like a forest of petrified trees, but this is actually a vast collection of limestone formations in southwest China that resembles a stone forest. The unusual structures are contained within a 150 square mile, or 400 square kilometer, expanse that is divided into seven scenic areas. Experts say the formations are at least 270 million years old and have become an international tourist attraction. Namib Nork Cloft. Due to its burnt orange coloration and forbidding sand dunes, this southern African location is often compared to a Martian landscape. But it's really a national park in Namibia that covers more than 19,000 square miles, or 49,800 square kilometers. Geologists say the sand dunes here are the tallest in the world, with heights approaching 1,000 feet, or more than 300 meters, above the desert floor. Did you know the oldest dunes display the brightest colors? Hobbiton. Mata Mata is a farming town in New Zealand's North Island. One of the farms served as the Hobbiton movie set for the Lord of the Rings films. The on-location sets were so seamlessly integrated into the environment that the New Zealand government decided to let them remain there as tourist attractions. To paraphrase director Peter Jackson, you'd almost expect to see Bilbo Baggins sitting in one of these Middle Earth domiciles. The Marble Cathedral. These amazing structures look like they could have been sculpted by an artist, but the marble caves are naturally occurring formations located at the far southern point of Chile. They've been created over some 6,200 years by the waves of General Carrera Lake in Patagonia. The marble cathedral has been compared to an azure temple highlighted by the lake's turquoise waters. The columns, caves, and tunnels are found at the midpoint of the lake's shoreline. Chiricahua National Monument Hoodoos are tall, thin rock structures that can often present an alien-like appearance. You'll find plenty of these structures along with balancing rocks and other unusual formations at this national park in southeast Arizona. Covering nearly 12,000 acres, or 4,856 hectares, the vast majority of this national monument has been designated as a protected wilderness area. Perito Moreno Glacier Southwest Argentina is where you'll find this this immense glacier. Located within a national park, it's one of the biggest tourist draws in the country. Covering nearly 100 square miles, or 250 square kilometers, this ice shield holds the third largest reserve of fresh water in the world. The craggy cliffs and jagged peaks almost make this real-life location look like something you'd see in a video game. Sausus Vle this area of the Namib Desert in Africa is characterized by pinkish-orange high sand dunes, the tallest of which rises 325 meters, or 1,066 feet. Sand dunes that have solidified to rock are called petrified dunes, and are found in several places here. Thanks to the surreal landscapes, Sosus Vle became one of Sub-Saharan Africa's most photographed locations. It also provided locations for many fantasy-themed commercials and movies, including The Cell and The Fall. Mendenhall Ice Caves the Mendenhall Glacier is found in the southeast part of Alaska and runs for more than 13 and a half miles, or 22 kilometers. Located within that massive formations are caves that offer amazing sights and atmosphere. While the caves are popular with adventurous tourists, they can't always venture inside. Glacier caves are unstable, and on especially warm days, they've been known to collapse. Lensois Marinensis Park. Covering some 380,000 acres, or 155,000 hectares, this national park in Brazil has a topography like no other in the world. During the rainy season, it becomes an alternating sequence of freshwater lagoons and rolling sand dunes. The valleys among the dunes fill with rainwater that cannot drain due to the rocks beneath. 
Sakatra Island. This remote island is a part of Yemen, and around six million years ago, it became separated from the African mainland. Maybe that isolation is why it's sometimes described as the most alien-looking place on Earth. For sure, some of the plant life looks like it belongs in Middle Earth, or some other sci-fi fantasy. In particular, the dragon's blood tree, with its weird umbrella shape, has red sap that was once thought to be blood. Danxia Mountains. These amazing multi-hued mountains are found in Zhangji National Geopark of China. The area contains nearly 700 walls, pillars, peaks, and stone bridges. The awesome colors range from dark reds to pale blues to vibrant greens. Fly Geyser. You'll find this alien-looking geological formation on the edge of the Black Rock Desert in Nevada. While it's not a digital creation, you could argue that humans created it. The odd formation dates back to 1964 and came about as the result of an energy company's mistake. They accidentally drilled into geothermal waters, which released the minerals that created the distinctive cone and pools. Now, fountains of scalding water will shoot up to 5 feet high, or 1.5 meters. The Wave. These surreal sites have an extraterrestrial appearance, but you can find them right here on Earth in the Arizona desert. The swirling formations were created by sand dunes that transformed into rock throughout nearly 200 million years ago. The twisty formations are located somewhere within the Vermilion Cliff Wilderness area and requires a special permit to see them. Wheeling Yu Area. This location was a natural choice for our list. Areas of this scenic and historical site in South Central China were used in the movie Avatar. It's known for containing thousands of sandstone pillars and peaks, some of which rise more than 660 feet, or 200 meters. Overall, this site sprawls over 266 square miles, or 690 square kilometers, and comprises four national parks. Number 1. Valley of the Moon Located in Chile's Atacama Desert, this region possesses sand and stone formations that exhibit a wide variety of textures and colors. Because some of those formations are comparable to the lunar landscape, the area is called the Valley of the Moon, as translated into English. It could also be called the Valley of Mars. Its similarity to the red planet's terrain is close enough that the Mars rover was given a test drive there. Thanks for watching this episode. Did you like the video? Tell us what you think in the comments below. And be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.